Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I was recently contacted by this company, Long Mate, and they asked me if I would do a review on a couple of their rotary tool accessories. So, here we go. I'm going to say up front, I did not purchase these. They were sent to me, and um, because I didn't buy them, well, but e either way, it doesn't matter. I'm going to give an honest review on these. Either good, bad, and different, if they're just average, or if they're better than average. And why am I uh, qualified to do a review on these? Well, I've got, well, up until a couple of months ago, I had 32 different rotary tools that I use frequently, and I probably have a total of 5,000 accessories mixed up. We'll go over that some other time. But anyway, long mate tools. We have a 427 pieces set. We have a 544 piece set with a carrying case. And we have a 397 piece kit with a carrying case. So, first things first. This one. I've already opened these up and looked at them. So let's go ahead and take it out of the case. It was taped together. And I uh, already took the tape off and somewhere I may have already lost a drill bit. But we'll see how it goes. This is two layers. There we go. Got two layers, so we're going to go over these. I'll put these right here. Then we have this 544-piece set. Already look at that. There we go. Close this up. And this one comes in this nice carry case. You can see it right there. Got two cameras going, one over here and one over here. So, let's just take this one. See if I can stop the glare from going on there. We got the long mate, plastic handle, the uh, hinge that you would expect to see on this kind of tool or this kind of case. Has the two clasps right here. Open this up, and right here it does open up fully to 180 degrees, plus maybe another couple of degrees. We have these and we have these. So, let's close this one up. There we go. Oh, they, it also came with, each one of these cases came with one of these little pamphlets to come with it. Pretty good guide to have. We'll go over this in a few minutes. I'm going to put one aside. Okay, on this last case right here, which is the 397-piece kit. Now this one has the most interesting case of all. A little bit less accessory, but the case is really, really cool. I like this case a lot. So, hold this up. Get that away. There we go. Move this away. And that away. Here we go. Long make tools. There we go. You can see the, the depth of my hand right here. There we go. For comparison and size. I don't have a tape measure next to me, but this is close enough to explain how big it is. There we go. Pop these open. There we go. Take off the protective case right there. There we go. We'll close that up. Look right here on the side. This comes out. This comes out. And there we go. So close that up. Go. Back up. Okay. 
So that's pretty cool. I like this case a lot. So we're gonna go over these and compare the wrench to the wrench in this one to the wrench in this one. We are going to compare a, um, a drill bit. We're going to compare the, the uh, drums or the sanding sleeves. We're going to compare the get this plastic over here, this little plastic cover. At this time I don't need it on here. Come on now. Fingers aren't working, of course. There we go. We're gonna compare the cutoff disc between the three of them. And we are going to compare the sanding drums between all of them. And what we're looking for to see if they look alike in the manufacturing process. Now, I have done a comparison on another brand. Uh, exact same toolkit, but bought at different times. And it was obvious that the accessories were made by different companies or different manufacturing plants. So, first part of this video, we're going to compare the accessories to each other. And then we're going to put them in a little torture test. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and start with this one. Open this one up. Okay, first thing we're going to look at is the Collets. Now this one, they are all brass. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Let's get this wrench and just pop these up real quick. This is not a video on how to actually use your rotary tool. This is just a video on comparing the accessories that are in the kits of the rotary tools. So, here we go. Well, off the bat right here, we can see how this kit has brass. Look, I just spilled one of those trays. I knew that would happen. This kit has brass. This kit has get it out of here. Stainless. So the kit that has the cool case has the stainless collets and the other two kits have brass collets. Not a big deal. It's not gonna make any big difference in the um, how each of these work. But I just right off the bat I find that interesting. So, let me put these back in here. I'm going to put you on pause, pick up what I spilled. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my mess cleaned up. And I'll switch these orientation of these. So, hopefully this won't get pushed off the side again. So, let's see how these wrenches line up with each other. Now, you may be wondering why I'm doing stuff like the wrenches and the collets comparison because in my opinion is if somebody will uh, let's just say go cheap on the cheap items they're gonna go cheap on the more costly items to manufacture so okay this one's here this one's here and this one is right here Okay, see right here, 
It's got a the basic wrench with a screwdriver tip style on one end and it's got the hole right there in the center. So let's put it in my hand this way. Put it in my hand this way. And we'll put this one right here. Now, just by looking at them, the only difference I can see in these is this one has a slight bit different finish on it. And uh, this one has a little bit different grind on the screwdriver tip part. There we go. But those are close enough, right? We're not going to have any quarrels about that at all. So let me put this back in here. So we're just going to say that the wrenches are close enough to being exact on each other. That's a weird way to put this wrench in right here. See here? You got to slides in this little groove. But that doesn't bring up any issues either. Okay. Now, let's see here. Let's look at somewhere on my floor is a small sanding drum. Okay, but here's a drum. Let's see. Put this one right here. Let me get a sanding drum out of this tray. go so let's get the large one out of this tray put, put it right here and this tray let's just get this large one put this right right here for now okay these drums come in different grits so right now we're not going to worry about the grits because none of them are marked what they are. So we're just going to have to just go from looks. Whoops. I keep on wanting to roll up on it. There we go. They are the exact same height. The paper on the inside this one looks a little thinner than the than these other two but it's really hard to tell but <coughs> excuse me we're gonna say those are close enough the uh, the pointed edges are securely glued down. Let's see on this one and on this one. So they look they look close enough to being same. So I'm just going to say these are the same. Let's see, put these back where they go. And this one will go right here. Okay, let's look at, take this off of here, this plastic cover, drop that aside. Let's look at these diamond wheels, uh, get that wrench and pop this one back out. That's the trouble with these, that the only trouble I see so far is getting these things out of the case. One, two, and the third one's right here. There 
go. Close that real, just like that. Okay. This one. This one. And this one. The holes look the same, exact same diameter. The markings on the center piece, I'm going to call that the hub of each one, look the same. And I'm going to say the, the distance from the hub to the hole, they all look the same. So I'm going to call these the same accessory manufactured in the same plants and of course I'm going to stress again that I can't guarantee that these are all my statements are correct it's just that, uh, from the looks I'm just saying that they're are the same or not the same so uh, let's see here oh that went all the way down in there uh oh is that going to be an issue putting those back in here there we go pull that out oh no wonder I put it in this way it's got to be put in flat should have known that right so put that back in there securely Okay, all of them have a shaping stone, which is this. I have done a video on these. Most people use their rotary tools. Don't know what these are. But I do have a video on these. And um, it's got a lot of comments on it. So, uh, let's see here. There we go. Now the center one is just slightly different color. They're all same size, same length. So I'm gonna put those back. And we're just going to say that those are all the same. So let's look at one more thing on here. Let's look at Copper wire brush. Here we go. This one and this one. And uh, this will be good down here. There we go. Okay, standing them up this way. I know it's hard to see, but the divot where these were punched in to hold them secure, this one looks a little different than these two. But that could just be the pressure from the machine that was changed for some reason or the other. And the bottom. See how the bottom is right there. They all look same. So, I guess it doesn't really matter where we put these back in here. So, okay. So for right now, that's all the comparisons that we're going to do. So what I'm going to do next is, let me, um, uh, Put these back up what I'm going to do next is take a grinding wheel and not a grinding wheel a cutting wheel and we are going to take this hot wheel 
and cut it with a grinding wheel and see if it feels like each one of these cutting discs are the same to each other. So I'm going to load up one of these put it in a rotary tool and um, let me get right back with you. Okay, to load up these cutoff discs, you need to find this in your box. It has a screwdriver tip and two little red washers on here. So we're just going to gently unscrew this, being careful not to drop one of those red washers because they're almost impossible to find. Granted, if you do lose a red washer, it's not going to ruin the tool. But it's just better if it's on there. There we go. Get one of those little red washers on each side. Then I'll just take this and put it back together. And for the time being, I just hold it with my fingers and tighten it up. And then, while we're doing this, we're going to go ahead and load up one of these buffing pads on each one of these kits. So, here we go. And this is going to take one of these, or one of these smaller ones. I'm going to get one out. There we go. Or you get one of these. It doesn't matter which shape you use. It depends on which application you're going to use it for. But they all basically do the same thing except for this one has a point on it and this one's smaller than the other one. So we're just going to take this one and get this screw mandrel. There we go. Let's see if I can... There we go. Hopefully that's coming in pretty good. And um, these... You can see that they have a hole in the middle. It's right there in the middle. So this, this just screws into that hole. Very easily done. So, we're going to get these loaded up. And I'll be right back with you. There we go. Okay. Where did my hot wheel car go? Uh, somewhere over here. Well, guess I'll just have to grab another one. Okay, that is metal. See there? We're going to cut this thing up. So, I'm going to close this and get it out of the way. Put over here on my workbench. Get this one, put it over here, and this one we're going to put over here. So, to use this, I am going to use, I don't have a rotary tool that is manufactured by Longmate. So, I'm going to use this heart rotary tool only because it was the closest one to me just now. Now, this is a battery operated one and already had a setup on here, so we're going to take this one off. Have the wrench right here. So, this one is used for some other project. Put that in there. Okay, we're not going to use these tools at all. This is how you use these. Okay. Get your tool that you're going to be using. Put it in the collet, the right size collet, which will fit inside here. And do not push all the way down like that. You hear that? Come out just a little bit. This is going to be a little bit different on these locking mechanisms. 
I'm going to make sure that's tight. And now I'm going to come back on here. Make sure that's locked into place. Now I'm going to check and make sure this is tightened again. Do it with my other hand here. There we go. So. There we go. It doesn't matter which hot wheel we use. So. Let's see how fast this actually cuts into a hot wheel. Let me grab my safety glasses here. This will require safety glasses. So, I'm just going to hold it in my hand right here. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to see how this cutting disc stands, holds up. So, I cannot say that that cuts worse than any other cutoff tool I have. Except for this other brand that we're not going to talk about, but it comes from a discounted tool store. So, let's take that aside. Now, let's look at a. Um, buffing wheel. Let's go ahead and get this. No, let's do something else. Let's look at a steel wire brush. So we're going to put this in here. So we'll push it down all the way and pull it back out a little bit. Tighten it up with my hand at first. There we go. And now we're going to see how these bristles last. So, again, I do have my safety goggles on. Here's the bristles. There we go. Now I didn't push down 
with a great force just just a little bit you'll get the hang of it but if you push down and you see the bristles kind of bush you know, kind of bellowing out you put too much pressure on it but they didn't bunch up any so that's good I like these steel brushes right now pretty impressed with those just take this off this way so now let's get the buffing pad whoops already had one out here there we go and we're gonna get some wax that is right here oh there's a car that other car I was looking for now in this container, the wax is green, and it is, it says right there, <clears throat> their polishing compound. Excuse me. So let's put this in here, get this locked in. Tighten it up. Now some of these are kind of hard to get out of the package. It is possible to get them out, but you just got to squeeze it here, squeeze it there a little bit. You'll see how it's coming loose right there on the bottom right. So you can manipulate it, make it come out if you need to. Let's see here, squeeze the sides. You can see it's stuck right there. We'll see if we can make this come out now. But, whatever you have to do to get this out, if you want it out, whatever it takes. But, for this instance, we're just going to turn it on. Then, if you think you got it buffed out enough, you can just get a clean one and go over it. Now, this is going to take a little bit of practice to get this done right, but you'll get the hang of it. It's not, a, not hard to do. There we go. A lot better, right? Anyway, that's the basics of these long mate tools uh, oh another thing uh, it's got these now personally I have about 25 or 30 of these in my session I mean in my box over here I never use these because these are so dad burn stiff I'm afraid they're going to ruin the project so I don't use those it has pink grinding bits gray grinding bits it's got well these might be the rubber ones yeah those are rubber these are brown gray they all are made out of a little bit different material it's got the um, cutoff wheels these are Point 0.8 millimeters it says right here on the side 0 0.8 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.4 and these sanding discs 240 220 and 180 
There we go. What else is in this other one over here? We have. Oh, here it is, right here. Back on it. We have the screwdriver tips. We have the. Uh, these are the mandrels for putting, like I just showed you, putting the cutoff wheels on. I have a few of those. Got some diamond grinding bits, some ball shaped bits, some cylinder bits, a diamond. Uh, this one I think might be a defect because. Look at the, I know it's going to be hard to see. See the end of that? It just doesn't look right to me. It might be useful, I don't know. But, here you go. Sanding drums, your assortment of sanding drums. Just almost everything you would need to do most projects around your house. Not every project, but most projects. Okay, uh, I think I said earlier that I do not have a long mate rotary tool. So that's why I was using the Hart brand, and you know these come from Walmart. But I'm not comparing them to each other, I'm just showing what I used, and it, it will hold these accessories. So that's not an issue. These, let me get this back out of the way over here. So these three kits, I'm just going to do this for right now, bring this kit over, close that one up, close this one up. I don't know what these three kits sell for, like I told you earlier, these were sent to me for a review. Um, my guess just a wild guess i'm thinking in the 30 dollar range this one might be a little cheaper because it doesn't have the, the tool box or tool carrier or, or container with it but i believe these are in the 30 dollar range might be 25 might be 30. and i do like these cases a lot i like these cases an awful lot so would i recommend these I do a lot with rotary tools. I make uh, knife scales. I do. I do the customizing the Hot Wheel cars. I do car wood carving. I just many many different things. Uh, plus, I do some um, household jobs with them. Like I said, I have almost thirty different r rotary tools. Well, I can't say different. I've got around 30 rotary tools that are used for different things and I'm glad to have these accessories in my my arsenal I don't think there's gonna be any problem with these if you do I'm sure the customer service will take care of you I talked to a lady through email only I didn't talk to her on the phone and just as nice as she could be just as nice as she could want I love to meet her in person but, winding it down, go for it. You can't go wrong with these things. Can't go wrong with them. My name is Carl, and I do appreciate you watching.